and this Tuesday morning. It's morning at our end, however it is at yours. I hope that you are just fine, okay? Thank you so much for choosing us. Okay, so let's talk Farmer's God, your weekly program dedicated to the world of agriculture. I'm your host, Saka Daly. So today we have a special episode and we're focusing on innovations in Nigerian farming practices. How does that work? What do you need to know about farming practices? What's the difference? What's changing? What's the innovation? All of this and more I would be bringing to you, provided you stay with us and make sure that you enjoy all the goodies that we will be bringing to you. It's all okay, Farms Radio. Please, Farms, do not keep us to yourself. Share us amongst your friends, your family, people you love. Because without agriculture, I mean, we'd probably be long dead and forgotten because we all would starve. Yeah. So yeah, don't let us starve. Share this with people around you that you know that they're interested in agriculture. People that you want to thrive. You want to, want to see them thrive on this particular part of life. So yeah, it's agriculture and it is OK Farms Radio. And today we are talking about the innovations in Nigerian farming farming practices. Stay with us, please. <laughs> so much for choosing oh, okay fine the radio tv i got you if you got us okay so so yes just before the break i said that we'll be talking about focusing on innovations in nigerian farming practices okay let's dive right into it we will discuss the two crucial aspects that are shaping the future of nigerian agriculture environmental stewardship and community engagement just like when it goes community engagement all right environmental stewardship emphasizes the importance of sustainable farming practices nigerian farmers are increasingly realizing that protecting our natural resources is vital for the generations to come you see if we continue to live like we don't care, I'm going to do this. And if it lives after me, fine. If it doesn't, I don't care. You're not doing nothing to preserve it. Then you're really not having the interest of others at us. And that's a very sad thing to know and to do. Okay. Imagine a farm where every action is taken with the environment in mind. From conserving water to minimize chemical use. Sustainable farming is about being co-friendly while ensuring healthy and fertile land for future crops. You know, sometimes when we're in a period where there's so much, uh, it's a dry season now, yeah. People will be like, oh yeah, it's you and I that contributed to all of this that we're facing. Yeah, talk about, we burn stuff, we leave some stuff to you. And then when it comes to flood as well, when there's flood, they'll be like, yeah, you contributed to it by pouring, you know, refuge in the dirt, refuse in the dirt, and, uh, beg your pardon, by pouring refuse in the water, by not letting your environment stay clean. So everybody, you and I, we've got a contribution to it. So now imagine that a farmer goes to the farm, bearing it in mind that I want to make sure that this crop, this farmland is preserved. Its nutrients is preserved. I want to do something that would make other users after me know that, yes, someone had used this and the person had the knowledge of preserving it well. That's exactly what we are talking about today. And now let us check out the second topic, that's the community engagement. Farming doesn't happen in isolation and collaborating with local community and fellow farmers is essential. 
collaboration, whether you are a beginner, whether you think you're already made when it comes to agriculture, you're better off your counterparts, you can do it, you have so much excess, you have so much land that you can farm on and it's going to be really beautiful when people come to see it. But you don't want to take the glory alone because no man is an island, okay? So you decide to collaborate with other farmers. All right, so I want to, I want to harvest or I want to plant tomatoes in a very large quantity. So I've got a land, then I'm going to call Overly Olu, who is the producer, by the way. We've got some crops that we can, you know, put on the farmland and it's going to germinate well. And I'm going to call Tolu, who is the editor. Now, like, Tolu, what's happening? Do you have some germicide that are crop friendly that we can use on this farmland? And Tolu be like, yeah. So the three of them come together, three of us come together and we decide on what to do. Or more, three or more persons. You come together and you already spoke about the sharing formula because... That's very essential too. Don't just go calling people together without having something in mind to back up, all right? And that's where education comes in. You have a lawyer, you have, you know, an, uh, how the intermediary, you have a written agreement, like, okay, when this finally comes to the market, when we finally have the end product, this is what we want to do with this, that's what we want to do with it. Makes sense, right? So yeah, collaboration is key. On the farmland, you really need to collaborate with other people. You don't know it all. It might just be Tolu telling me, oh, Sakadeli, you know what? How about we add a little bit of, that's an example, right? How about we add a little bit of honey on this farmland to make sure that the crops that will be um, germinating from here afterwards are really nourishing? You did, I didn't think about it like, whoa, Tolu, that's a very good one. So collaboration is very important. When farmers come together, they can share their knowledge and experience, helping each other tackle common challenges like pests, market fluctuations, and climate change, or climate changes as the case may be. Okay, so just somebody saying, the other day we were on this, on this land where somebody wanted to build. Okay, that's me, you know, stepping out of agriculture right now. And this old person was like, okay, this land is pretty good. But if you have to lay a thicker bag on the foundation just before you build on it, then you would never have to bother yourself about flood. You never have to bother yourself about water, you know, unnecessarily coming into the apartment. This younger person was like, okay, that's not a problem. She went on, she got her bags, laid it on the foundation, and she built on it. Guess what? Other persons who did not lay the foundation with a tip bag had problems with flooding when it started to rain. So yeah, there's a lot of collaboration. Nobody's an island. And just a little bit of input from the next person, she probably not even thinking towards that direction, would, can change a lot about your crop, your end results, and everything on your farm or maybe almost everything on your farm please stay with us it is summer's guard on ok farms radio i would be right back the human race is solely dependent on agriculture all ok farms is a hub designed to cater for all you agriculture and it we breathe agriculture now, no more troubles as you can now join our multi purpose farmers cooperative society. We provide numerous opportunities, support, rights network, credit facilities, and grants both locally and internationally. We are keen on our members' success and we provide the right agro insurance. At all OK farms, we render services such as contract farming, commodity branding and export, as well as sales and lease of farmland. Our Agribusiness Academy is tailored towards equipping you through your journey in the agribusiness industry. For more information, visit ookgroup.ng. We are also actively and professionally involved in AgriMedia. Download our app on Android and find us on Radio Garden at OOK Farms Radio. We're located at 60 Dicard House, Ring Road, Ibado, or your state. Agriculture, our way. Are you ready to sow a seed for a sustainable future? 
OOK Farms Grow What You Eat initiative is a groundbreaking movement empowering young minds to cultivate a greener and healthier future. This isn't just an agricultural initiative. This is an education that goes beyond the classroom, providing a hands-on experience that fosters innovation and nurtures a profound connection to the world of agriculture. Join us on the 30th of September 2023, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the University of Ibadan International Conference Center as we flag off this revolutionary journey towards cultivating the future agriculturist. My name is Omolara Svensson. back like never left you thank you so much for choosing okay fam stevie sakadeli overly olu tolu all of us Ooh, what a rhyme we got you this amazing morning all right so just before the break we were talking to you about the innovations in nigerian farming practices so i made mention of environmental stewardship that is um, the importance of sustainable farming practices Nigerian farmers are increasingly realizing that protecting our natural resources is vital for the generations to come. And we moved on to the community community engagement, where farmers are beginning to collaborate with one another. You have uh, maize, bring it. I got lands uh, that we can put this on. You got. Uh, gemicide that we can use to put a pest away you got knowledge that we can use to put this together the other day i remember a farmer talking about he had to grow a wrong crop and every time he gets on the on the farmland he's seeing that the the leaves were going very green so he was very much excited like yeah he was going to harvest to something big on this farmland guess what that particular crop does not even grow in that season I think it was his soybeans he was talking about the other day. I can't remember the crop precisely right now, but he made mention of it. Like he was so excited, like, oh, look at all green leaves everywhere. So that means the crops were growing. And he thought when it was time for him to harvest, he got on the land and found out that ooh, 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 ooh. he had only planted weed all along. And he could not cry like, Kilo and shell So that's another reason why you need to collaborate. Ask questions when you're not right, when you cannot find the right answers. Like, okay, so I want to plant yam. Is this the season? And you know that uh, I think farmers need to dead that thought of wanting to stand out. I just want to stand out. I don't want, I don't want, I was, I was always saying I don't want peace. I want peace. Yeah, I want peace. So, uh, some farmers just want to stand out. They want to do extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. So when probably the governments get on the farmland, they be like, whoa. And then they start to hoard information. Something you're supposed to share with someone else. And the person be like, oh no, you're not supposed to do this at this time. They, they just keep it to themselves. They see other farmers going through all they're supposed to go through. And they just sit down there smiling like, hmm. When I eventually land, you people will bow. And at the end of the day, then you might just be the one bowing in tears. What tears precisely? So collaboration is key. Power of unity in farming communities cannot be underestimated. It creates a support system that not only boosts productivity, but also strengthens the social fabric of our rural areas. The other day, I was jokingly telling someone that we need to go back to that era where our parents were pitching us with their you know, friends. My father, say for instance, in the 70s, 80s, my father is a farmer, a successful farmer at that. And then I'm beginning to grow up and see like, ah, ah, this lady's beginning to look, you know, really yummy. And then just going to say, Sakadeli, Oma Fiongo Baba Uni Coco. That's it. And life is good. And I just marry into the cocoa farm, to the cocoa house, right? And that's it. 
I'll just be chopping money. That's the one we are putting together lately. It's not coming together. So yeah, I mean, that's that's a joke. But what I'm trying to say is the power of collaboration. If if cassava farmer decides to be on his own and not unite with a cocoa farmer, there's no way they're going to say, oh yeah, I've got a child that I want your own child to get married to. Do you understand? So collaboration is a thing. It has always been a thing. It was there while our forefathers were on the farmland before some of our fathers decided that, no, it has to be a white collar job. And now that we're suffering it, and now it looks like we're all going back to the farm. So we're taking notes of essential things that probably made our forefathers grow. And it made some of them fall out of line because they were just like, why should I collaborate with you? I have plenty of cassava. You is only a few hectares of land that you got. And you want me to collaborate with you. And now we're going to share 50-50 over my dead body so you need to come once you start to think in line of collaboration start to think about how you intend to go about the profits don't just say oh it's my friend friends become foes when money is involved remember so yeah it's very important for you to always check out collaborations with helping what more can you do at this time so there's precision agriculture as well nigerian farmers are increasingly adopting precision agriculture techniques such as testing the soil remote sensing to optimize resource use reduce waste and increase crop yields okay it's, it's very important for us to reduce waste so there is this new store opening in opened yeah in ibadan that says that you can now pay your shopping with waste if you had used a bottle you had used a bag and instead of you throwing it around anywhere where the nail starts to say oh yeah this part of the world is dirty you can actually use it to pay for your shopping how about that you think it's good yeah we're gradually getting there so mobile technology is another thing the use of mobile apps and sms services has grown allowing farmers to access weather forecast so when you wake up in the morning you're intending to farm you then decide to say mm, let me check my phone today what's the forecast saying and the weather forecast says it's going to be you know mid temperature and um, maybe 20 degrees celsius or however the celsius for the day and you just say okay i'm going to do this within this period before it starts to rain mobile technology all right apps like farm crowdy and farming season provide valuable information to farmers it's very very important vertical farming is another thing urban areas in nigeria are witnessing the growth of vertical farming systems which make essential use of limited space and resources these systems allow year-round cultivation of crops you want to learn more about what I got for you today? Please stay with us. We would be right back. existence and survival of the human race is solely dependent on agriculture. OOK Farms is a hub designed to cater for all you agriculture and it. We break agriculture. Now, no more troubles as you can now join our multi-purpose farmers cooperative society. We provide numerous opportunities, support, right network, credit facilities, and grants both locally and internationally. We are keen on our member success and we provide the right agro insurance. At OK -OK Farms, we render services such as contract farming, commodity branding and export, as well as sales and lease of family. Our Agribusiness Academy is tailored towards equipping you through your journey in the agribusiness industry. For more information, visit OOKgroup.ng. And professionally involved in agri media. 
Download our app on Android and find us on Radio Garden at OOK Farms Radio. We're located at 60 Dikad House, Ring Road, Ibado, or your state. Agriculture, our way. Are you ready to sow a seed for a sustainable future? OOK Farms Grow What You Eat initiative is a groundbreaking movement empowering young minds to cultivate a greener and healthier future. This isn't just an agricultural initiative. This is an education that goes beyond the classroom, providing a hands-on experience that fosters innovation and nurtures a profound connection to the world of agriculture. Join us on the 30th of September 2023, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the University of Ibadan International Conference Center as we flag off this revolutionary journey towards cultivating the future agriculturist. My name is Omolara Svensson. Thank you so much for choosing OK Fams TV. Sakadeli, I'm back, and this time we need to wrap up. All right, so let me just talk about these few points and then we do that. All right, so value added processing there is a growing trend towards value addition in agriculture with farmers and entrepreneurs processing agricultural products into higher value products like packaged foods and snacks before now there was nothing like packaged iru if you want iru you have to go to the market and buy it smelly no not smelly no buy what you want to buy and be at peace but now we've got innovations where people pack this and if you don't even add it to the stew or soup as the case may be and then you start to eat it people next door might not even know that or someone i said next door someone in your apartment in the city room might not even know that you have iru added to your sauce compared to the one that used to be you know you open it and the smell was always everywhere back then so yeah that is innovation so lastly let us talk about government initiatives like the anchor borrowers program and the green imperative initiative aimed to support farmers with improved access to credit machinery and training very important now the farmers the the governments are stepping in like hey farmers what shall all want us to do for you and the farmers be like hey government we want you to increase our access to credit you know and a lot of that so yes we are gradually growing and the famine no matter how much we think oh yeah we are hippie we are joyous people i want to go into tech go into what have you and now we even have people who are into tech into other spheres of life and they're like i'm a foodie now imagine that there's no farmer on the farmland you're just you're just going to be stealing yourself so it's very important for us to come every time you see a farmer you see um, a farmer farming on the farmland. You see a farmer who is an entrepreneur trying to resell this produce to you. Give them respect. And don't go about overpricing things. So when you get into some fancy stores, you see the price tag written on it. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. If it didn't day, it didn't day. Do you understand? And now, when you walk into those stores, you happily take pictures. You happily buy these things. But when you see someone selling almost the same thing, maybe more value on the roadside, the person you're asking the person, how much does this cost? The person saying, a bunch of banana is for 500 naira. You go about saying, Sheko ba 100 naira. Can I pay 100 naira for it? Because you feel like this person don't need money. That's a very bad thing for us to do. I feel like we should, I'm not encouraging us to patronize people who are lurching around and just saying that when you see someone selling by the roadside, you are indeed wanting to patronize the person. Please do not beat the price down ridiculously. Now that's when your bargaining power comes to play. Ah, Momo Konongo, I can price, I can do this, but you don't do that in those fancy stores. So let us help these people to help ourselves. That's about it on today's episode. Thank you so much for coming. We spoke about uh, the innovations, focusing on innovations in Nigerian farming practices. Thank you so much. I would not leave the show today without telling you about our 
organic sheep water or honey for food gary and the fact that we can actually help you to farm how amazing is that you just be inside your office or wherever and you're just chilling and your phone just goes berserk blah, 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 blah. guess what it's your money coming in so yes you can reach out to us at OK farms we are our headquarters is at a decast building here we're right here and then you can call us as well the number is right here you can find us call us up and let us know how we can be of help to you today thank you so much for coming here yeah, for viewing my name is any yanu follow you bonus dress call me sakadeli thank you to olu thank you to tolu yeah we bad like that over here oh, okay fans we got that day all day every day please catch up with us next week god's grace for another episode of farmer's guide till then stay positive